In the last video I showed you how to load static sprites without animations and in this video and the next video I am actually going to show you how to load sprites with animations. So I already prepared a file and for now it is just an empty window and in this window I'm going to load this Jack Walk animation I downloaded uh, from the internet, I don't know from where exactly, but it is just uh, this character walking to the right. And as you can see, it is separated to individual PNG files. So and in the next video I'm going to show you how to load uh, a sprite sheet, so not uh, separated PNG files, but one PNG file which contains all the animation frames. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. In the init method of the MyGame window, I'm going to create two variables. One is the player list, and it will be set to none. And I'm also going to create a self.player, and it will set to none. It will be set to none. And uh, I'm going to create a setup method, so setup. And when this setup method is called, it will set the self.player list to an arcade, arcade.sprite list, sprite list, and the self.player, player, will be set to arcade, arcade.animated uh, walking sprite. So let's take a look at this animated walking sprite in the documentation. So you can go to quick API index. And here in the sprite API, you will find the animated walking sprite. So let me open this. Yes, yeah, so it bases arcade sprite and it has one method update animation logic for selecting the proper texture to use. Okay. And now uh, for the for the so this animated walking sprite needs four lists. One is the uh, stand right textures. The second is the walk. I mean the stand left textures. Then the walk right textures and the walk left textures. So let's create those. So self dot player dot stand stand uh, right textures and this will be set to an empty list. And if you open up the source code for the animated walking sprite, you will see that here it is stand right textures, which is by default set to none. So we setting it now to an empty list. And let's append to this list the stand right uh, a stand right text texture. So self that self that player that stand right texture that append and arcade arcade that load texture and give it the file so i want to be the stand right texture this walk one that png and here in my sprites folder i have it here so sprites jack walk and walk one the png so let's set it here so sprites it is in the sprites folder then jack walk jack walk folder and it is called walk1.png and now let's set the stand left textures so self.player that stand left textures equal to an empty list and self.player that uh, stand left textures that append to this list the same uh, png file but now it will be a mirrored, will be mirrored. So mirrored equals true. So and this this attribute when you set to mirrored equals true, it will load the same file, so the walk one png, but it will mirror it on the y axis, so it will face to left. Okay, so now we have we have the stand right, we have the stand left, we also need to do the walk left and the walk right textures. So self.player 
that walk, 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 walk right textures equals to an empty list. And uh, yeah, now we have to load each file separately into this or append these uh, to these walk right textures. So I'm just going to copy these serve that stand right and i'm going to change this to walk right textures so serve the player that walk right textures that append arcade.load walk onepng and we have 10 images so from 1 to 10 and so i'm going to duplicate this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 times and i'm just going to change this walk onepng to walk 2 here walk 3 walk 4, walk, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now let's do this for the walk left textures. So self.player that walk left textures equals to an empty list. And I'm just going to copy all of these and paste it here and set the mirrored in the load texture to true. So mirrored equals true. And just let's copy this to this also. Okay, so now we have stand right textures, stand left textures. We have a walk right textures and walk left textures. And we appended them to the sprites. And the next thing we need to do is actually append this player to the player list. So here I'm, but before I append, I'm going to set the self that player, player that center x, center x to 1280 integer division by two, and also do this one for the uh, center y, so 720. So this is the windows width. 1280, and this is the window's height, so this will uh, position the sprite in the center of the window. So, and the last thing I'm going to do is sell that player, that append, I mean not, the, not to the player, but to the player list. So, sell that player list, that append, the sell that player, sell that player. So, you append this player object to the player list. Here. Okay, now let's try to draw this player list. So, self that player list that draw, and I, it will give us an error. So let me try it. Yeah. So this gives this error. Non-type non object has no attribute draw. Uh, yeah, first of all, let's call this setup method. So, so here, so self that setup. And now let's try to run it. So it will still give us an error. So now the error is uh, attempt to draw a sprite without a texture set. And this took me a little bit long to actually figure out what is the problem. We need to update the animation in the cell dot player list. So. Here in the on update method, let's call the cell dot player uh, player list uh, player list that update uh, update underscore animation method. So without this, it won't work, as you can see. And now, if I if I run it, now it it has no error. But uh, to actually do the animation, we need to create the on key press and on key release events and uh, I'm going to just quickly take on my notes take a look on my notes so to save a little bit of time uh, off screen I already defined the key event so if on, in the on key press if key is key up I'm going to set the players change in y to 15 if key is down I'm going to set the player change y to negative 15 and if it is left the change x will be negative 15 and if it is right the change in x will be 15 and in the on key release when i 
uh, really is the keys. So the up or the down key, the change in the player's change in Y will be zero, set to zero. And if I release the left or the right key, the player's uh, change in X will be set to zero. And one more thing to actually update the animation, and it's still not updated properly, is call in the onUpdate method the self dot player list dot update update uh, so you need to update you need to call the cell the player list that update and also the cell the player list that update animation in the on update method and now it should work so yes it goes okay okay this is the drawback of copying and pasting so here this should be work left textures. So here I'm going to copy work left textures and I'm going to here append work left, work left, work left, work left. So after this it should work properly. So now we have the stand right textures, we append to the stand right textures the work one.png, stand left textures, we append to this the work one but mirrored and we created a walk right and we append all the 10 uh, frames or the 10 uh, PNG files to the walk right and we append to the walk left the same textures but mirrored. So now it should work properly. So it goes right and when I press the left key it faces to left and it goes to left, right, left. And it also can go up and down and also diagonally and if you don't like how uh, if you have some kind of a big uh, png file like this one you can also set the scale here so where we set the player the center x i'm also going to set the self dot player that scale let's set it to 0 0.5 so it will scale it down to one half and now the image is much better looking so this is how you can use the animated walking sprite object inside arcade and in the next video uh, we are going to take a look at the animated time based sprite object